Hello, hello, hello! This is Caleb from Practical Dad's Advice, and we are pushing into part two of our drawn style tutorial for Dawes Studio, or Daz Studio. Is it Daz or is it Dawes? I've heard it both ways. I switch between them rather frequently. So, we have the base layer of our figure, the, the, the visual style set for our figure. So now, the fun begins. We get to add some lights, and we're going to work with the camera. The camera... Oh my goodness, the camera. The camera is very fickle. And we'll get to it more, but basically the camera is very fickle. So we do the camera absolutely last. Because you can really mess up a lot of work with the camera. It has stability issues. I don't know if it's a... a they messed up in the coding. I don't know. I don't know. But there's something about, about it that just doesn't work very well. Now this is very important. We want to use normal unmodified cheesy Dawes Studio lights okay we are wanting as simple a data as possible we're not wanting to make this difficult so you don't want to use advanced lights you don't want to use uh, uber environment or any of that you want to use simple Dawes lights okay so that's gonna be really bright so we're going to lessen that light to 50% and we're going to create a spotlight move the spotlight and you don't want to do three-point lighting actually I found that three-point lighting becomes too much because you you can't think of this as uh, as photography this the, you're drawing in a 3d with a 3d program you're trying to make a drawn effect which is very different than photography um, when you're doing just straight up 3d you're usually actually kinda of going for a f uh, you're using um, photographic you're using the same things that a photographer would use and techniques and lighting and stuff with the with the drawn camera that's not what you're doing so let's look to see how that looks that's pretty good I like that maybe a little brighter on my spotlight boost that to 80 see how that works yeah that looks good that's gonna be nice that's gonna be a nice a nice drawing that's gonna be a nice shot alright so we save it again now okay <sighs> the camera create new camera now don't place you you just made this camera do not place this camera so we're gonna go to lights and camera and under cameras you want to click this you want to click this while having this selected what this is gonna do is it's gonna turn that camera into a toonie cam when you turn it into a toonie cam it's gonna move so watch say it moved So now where's the toonie cam it's all the way over here it's straight on so now set your camera okay now here here's another thing when you save and you stop for the day you need to write down where you left your camera because chances are your camera's not gonna work when you try and get back into it so you're just gonna have to delete the stupid camera and replace it. If you have a solution for that, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. I don't have a solution to that. Um, real quick, I just saw something that I meant to talk about in the last video, and that's fingernails. Fingernails um, will look terrible if you just leave them as that. So I, I tend to just uh, move them into a slightly darker or slightly lighter shader and I don't worry about them um, too much but yeah you do want to uh, you want to take care of that
thing. So can I bring that camera in? Tell you what. Camera be the devil. Camera is an evil, evil thing. And yet, it works amazing. It does wonderful things when it works, but when it doesn't work, whew. All right, so. With the Tuni Cam Pro selected, go to your content library. It's gonna be under your products, DAW Studio Library, Camera Presets, Tuni Cam, and this is what you want. So you go to render settings. Now make sure your camera's where you want it first and hit render outline. The reason why you want to make sure your camera's ready is because you can't move the camera once you hit render outline on. You can technically, but what it's going to do is it's going to save the outline of everything that's in the scene right then. So if you move the camera, it's going to leave the outline on that camera surface and you're going to have the outlines off of the objects and it's gonna look terrible so we're gonna do render outline on and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom to shading level and we're gonna put it to shading level 5 and that's all we're gonna do and we're gonna pray that it works we're gonna go to render set ourselves to tuning cam it should be scripted 3d delight put it to full HD and we're gonna hit render see if this works yep it's working good stuff it shouldn't take too long it's gonna it's gonna pop in and on out on you if you try to go to a different uh, different thing it'll probably pop up back on you so let's see ah yeah that looks nice that looks really good it looks really really good um, the only thing I would want to do is if I could get more outlines on the shirt and that's when that's when Photoshop really would be uh, helpful is if I could get just a few more outlines on the shirt you know just come in with a with a pen or whatnot add just a few little uh, lines on this shirt to make it really look nice but all in all this looks great I'm super happy with it um, I hope you learned a lot uh, have fun, create something awesome. I'll see you guys on the other side. From this is Caleb from Practical Dyes Advice. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what else you want to learn. Tell me what else you want to know. Peace.